This is Fred Wall, the Visa Coach. Today's topic is why are fiancé and spouse visas denied? Visa Coach, fast, easy, and personal. My name is Fred Wall. I am the Visa Coach, known for front-loaded immigration presentations that tell your story leading to fast and easy approval and the personal one-on-one -on -one attention well, you'll receive as my client. I invented the three-step immigration success method, which anticipates the likely problems and skepticism your case might face, and then squashes those issues by working together with you on the ideal appearance of your case and preparation of my signature front-loaded presentation that tells your story the way we want it heard. When properly implemented, my method helps win approval for your visa even before the interview starts. Today's topic is why are fiancé and spouse visas denied? During the past two weeks, I got calls from three different couples. And, and disclaimer, none of them were my clients. These were random calls. And they had all been denied for their K-1 fiancé visas at their consulate interviews. So let me go over some of the common factors. One, big age difference. If you fall in love with someone, well, your ages are what they are. Birth dates cannot be changed. It is a red flag, but not necessarily an insurmountable obstacle. I've helped plenty of couples where the sponsor was over twice the age of the foreign fiancé, and so far they've all gotten approved. Another factor may be no recent meeting, no recent face-to-face -face meeting. Now this can be easily overcome, either by good planning or frequent flyer miles. The ideal case, which I recommend to all of my clients, is that once the couple has sworn undying love, they should meet personally, together, face to face, every six to nine months. As the Scottish poet Robert Burns once wrote, a man is never too tired to travel to meet his lover. The couple that demonstrates with their frequent flyer miles that they wish to be together will have an easier time to have their bona fides and sincerity believed. Now, some couples can't afford a lot of travel. And this is very common and it's perfectly understandable. If one can only afford two or even just one trip, it's very important to submit the visa petition as close to the return from the trip as possible. The meter starts running as soon as the American returns to the USA. If he submits the petition almost immediately upon return, then chances are very good, especially with today's timelines, that by the time it starts to look awkward that they've been separated for a long time because he hasn't traveled again, by this time, the foreign fiancé should already be at their interview and issued her visa and actually be on her way to the USA. A lot of clients hire me a month or two before their trip. And that's great because that way I work with them to get all of their information and background out of the way calmly and deliberately well in advance of their departure. Then during the trip, the couple follows, well, the customized checklists I have personalized to their situation and get their final evidences, photos, and signatures during the precious few days they have during their trip. I will have their petition sitting 95% complete on my desk during their holiday together. And just as soon as the American returns, he sends me the final bits and pieces, and I return his petition to him ready for his signature and immediate submission to USCIS. 
Another red flag is no front-loaded evidences in the original petition. My last caller said, we submitted a thousand pages of evidences, but the counselor officer still denied the petition. All three couples sent their fiancés to the counselor interview, hand-carrying various amounts of evidences, including, for one of them, a Manhattan-sized telephone book-sized stack of correspondences. The counselor officer does not have to look at any evidences carried by the fiancé. Officially, he is supposed to make his decision based solely upon evidences that USCIS had seen. This is very important, so let me repeat. The counselor officer does not have to look at any evidences hand carried by the fiancé. In all the three cases, the counselor officer did not allow the fiancé, who was there, to hand over evidences. Instead, he asked a few questions asked him to put the evidences down, and then sent the fiancé home with a rejection slip. Now what I do for all of my clients is to help them identify ways they can demonstrate their relationship is bona fide. I help them identify a paper trail of evidences, and then we interweave a carefully selected sampling of these evidences into the initial petition that is submitted to USCIS. Instead of a brief 20-page petition that leaves everything on the, the shoulders of the fiancé to finally present and defend at the interview, my front-loaded petitions typically are between 100 and 150 pages thick. Now, I'm not talking about wasting everyone's time and filling the package with hotel receipts, restaurant tabs, cab receipts. I am talking about carefully selected evidences that demonstrate the quality and genuineness of the relationship. Well, how does a front-loaded petition help? Well, eventually this 150-page petition ends up on the desk of the counselor officer. He will review the case just prior to the start of the interview. By Foreign Service policy, he is bound to make his decision based upon the information USCIS received and approved. As he flips the pages, he should find, at least from a visa coach petition, he should find complementary evidences that tell the couple's story in a favorable way. When the fiancé finally sits down for the interview, there is often not much left for him to say, but welcome to the USA, because all of his questions have already been answered by the petition that he reviewed before the interview started. This is Fred Wall, the Visa Coach. Call me. Before starting your immigration adventure, before entering an arcane maze of rules, regulations, and procedures, before committing yourself to a risky path that could mean an end to your happiness, speak with the Visa Coach and ask for his free consultation. He listens to you to learn the red flags and strengths of your case, your eligibility and goals. He will suggest which visa is right for you, the best strategy to get it, and how soon your love can join you. The friendly advice and wisdom he'll freely share with you might make the difference between approval and denial and could save you months or years of loneliness and separation. What have you got to lose? Book your free consultation today.